Hey everybody, so today's fly is an oldie but a goodie. Uh, this is going to be a hard body San Juan worm. This fly was shown to me over 20 years ago by a guide on the San Juan River, TJ Jimerson was his name, and uh, it was super productive and popular back then, and it, I think it's kind of lost its popularity, which I think is possibly making it an even better fly because the fish aren't seeing it as much anymore. Uh, anyway, I've tied uh, hundreds of dozens of these over the years and it continues to be a really good fly. It's super simple, um, but the, the devil's in the details. You got to do some things correctly to make this uh, the best it can be. So it only uses three materials. Uh, it used to be tied on an old English bait hook, a mustad. I think it was a 3716. I use the owner mosquito hook in red in a size six. I think it's just a little kinder to the fish than that that old uh, mosquito, uh, or I'm sorry, that old English bait hook from Mustad. Um, it also uses orange flashaboo, uh, orange tubing, standard size, and I'm going to use Danville's Flymaster 70 denier in a fluorescent fire orange. The key to this fly is tying everything uh, smoothly so you don't have any lumps or bumps anywhere. So I'm gonna start the thread just behind the eye on this fly. And then I'm gonna take a piece of orange tubing and I'm gonna tie that in behind the eye. And I'm gonna stretch it super thin. So here I am catching the orange tubing right behind the eye. And then I'm gonna really pull on this as I wrap back. So you got to make sure your hook is locked in that vise nice and tight because you want to stretch this tubing as tight as you can as you wrap all the way back and down. That, using the curve of that hook is super important. Uh, that gives the fly its kind of worm-like appearance as it tumbles through the water. Next I'm going to cut one strand of orange flashaboo. Um, keeping it again as thin as possible. I'm going to tie that strand in and here's where you got to be careful. I'm going to wrap my thread all the way back over this red hook making sure to cover every little bit of it. Trying not to hit the hook point. I've hit it twice now and luckily my thread didn't break. So I'm going all the way back up to the eye and when you see this you're going to notice that it has a really smooth and clean underbody. There's no lumps or bumps at tie-in points. Next, I'm going to take the flashaboo, one strand, and without skipping any spots, I'm going to carefully wrap the flashaboo all the way up. I'm not stretching it, not pulling it tight, I'm not leaving any spaces. I'm just putting that flash all the way up on top of the fluorescent fire orange thread. Takes a little bit of time, but doing it right is important. As soon as I get to behind the eye, I'm going to tie that off. Not more than three wraps of thread to tie it off. Last part, this is important. You are going to now wrap this orange tubing over the orange flashaboo. And you are going to stretch that tubing as tight as you can. When you are done with this, Nobody should be able to tell that there's any tubing on there. It should just look orange and flashy. You're just basically creating a strong overbody and changing that color to a more orange color. Tie it off. This part's a little tough because you're still stretching this to keep it nice and thin. And you're passing your thread over about five or six times. Give it another five or six. Stretch that tubing. Clip. And you are now ready to finish the fly couple whip finishes. And that is it. The Sparkle Worm, hard body San Juan Worm. Super effective. Good luck. I hope it catches you a lot of fish and keep tying.